big news today is WWE Network uh, has entered into. I want to make sure I get the wording right because it's it's uh, 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 NBC has not acquired WWE Network. NBC has not acquired WWE. They have entered in an exclusive streaming deal with NBC Universal. It, it is not NBC Comcast. I'm confused on that part of it. But anyways, um, for NBC Universal, I haven't caught up on the mergers. <laughs> So, uh, for exclusive streaming rights, I believe only in the U.S. for Correct. the WWE Network. So, let's break it down. What does that mean? Because there's been a lot kind of going back and forth. Of what does that mean? What's going to happen? I know, I know, Mike, even like you had some questions today. And, and we, were, we were all questioning everything today. Um, my first guesses were absolutely wrong, by the way, that I was telling Crystal Russo on the Facebook page. There's a big thread on the Wrestling Man Show group where a lot of that info is kind of captured as well. Of course, we've been tweeting it all day. Was it, probably, yeah. It's delightfully, non-vaguely, non-specific. The info that they have, I, I, some specifics. Some specifics are. What we do know, I really should pull up some of this stuff so I have it right in front of me. Like, I, I, think, I think the main thing we know is that there's going to be a new uh, streaming series exclusively for Peacock every year. Um, well, wait a minute. We know a lot more than that, Mike. I, 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 yeah, think. I mean, a lot of the stuff I read was just this is what the WWE Network has. Yes. And, okay. And we so know what it has. There's a list of that, but basically everything in in March there is going to be a process starting on I think it's March 18th is the first the day. The 18th. the 18th. So there is going to be a process where you, as a WWE Network subscriber, are going to have to not go to the WWE app for the WWE Network. You will instead be going to the Peacock app. I say Peacock so many times for a wrestling show. Welcome to our world. Um, if I play this clip to 2006 me on this podcast. and You'll think we're talking about Dalton Castle. No, we won't by then. We haven't discovered Dalton Castle at that point. That's true. I don't think he even started wrestling at that point. Um, but anyways... So it's not, hey, it wasn't until the tens that he started coming around, I think. But anyways, so so the WWE Network, instead of being in its own app, you know, and however you do that, you will need to go to the NBC Peacock app, and it will be part of that wholly. This is for United States users. I'm not clear if that's anyone outside of the United States at this point. If you're anywhere else, nothing changes for you. There's still a Correct. WWE app that will include WWE Network. And that you pay whatever you did, there, you know, your pricing structure is whatever they're doing in that country. But now, what that means is instead of you paying nine ninety nine for just WWE Network, it is now included as Peacock. Now that pricing structure changes. You could still pay nine ninety nine a month to get your WWE Network, but you also be included Saved by the Bell reboot, The Office. Uh, <laughs> Heroes. <laughs> Heroes is Heroes. on there. So everything we talk about on this podcast, actually. Uh, that, uh, but that, that, isn't, that isn't DC or Marvel, I guess, but, uh, uh, but or Disney or Warner Brothers. Uh, but anyways, so so there's that. Plus, if you don't want to pay 10 bucks and you're okay with commercials, you can pay $5 and get an ad-supported I, version. I wonder what the hell that is. So that means you're going to get commercial breaks in the middle of your chronicles. Probably not yeah, during the but, live but, pay-per-views. But what does that mean for pay-per-view? I, I don't think that's going to mean much, Mike. Um, I think what that's going to... Uh, uh, the difference is... those things are live. They are live. And, and they don't have commercial breaks on those. They are live. Also, they, they do have live sports on there, like sports that are on NBC. Yeah, but, sport, but sports have, a have in, segmented yes. commercial breaks. So, like, um, also, I mean, also consider WWE pay-per-views do have commercials, Mike, already. They do, They'll but dip. it's... So it's part of that. Just like if you watch live sports, those commercial breaks are already built built in, right? Yeah. Ideal. I know it's... it's, it's it, I'm, I'm skirting the the apples and oranges on this, but but I think... That's I, because they skirted the apples and oranges. Yes, on yes. They did, they, yeah. they, they even told people exactly how it's going to work, just that it's going to work. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, I mean, I think it's very clear. There will not be a WWE app for you to log into uh, on or very shortly after March 18th. Okay. Um, the Why first... didn't they do March 16th? Because it's your birthday. 
No, 316. Oh, 316. Ooh, that would have been a nice one. But I'm yeah, sure, I'm sure there's more things birthday. out of their control for that. So you have you know, WWE cock. Thank you for. <laughs> No, no, that's the Ric Flair segment we're going to talk about later. They're coming soon to the Peacock. Um, so there's that. Now, the fun things, if you're in God knows how much of the country and you happen to have Comcast Internet, because it's probably your only damn choice to watch Monday Night Raw. Um, it, it, so because I've discovered this. Um, if you have a Comcast, we'll just say a Comcast login. That's a winky face. So I can give you these details, actually. What's that? I can give you the details on who is which cable customers are getting Peacock Premium um, included in their cable package. And this the, is and, the and that is the ad supported five dollar version, typically, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Pe- Peacock Premium, even though it says premium, it's kind of like the base. But you get you get more than like the first three yeah, episodes. Like, there's a free there, there, there's a free Peacock tier. Yes. And then premium is the $5. Yes. So, I, I, hear the, I hear the free tier is called free cock. Okay. <laughs> sorry. I, Damn it. Sorry. Raw was boring. I've been workshopping that joke all night. Um, anyway, okay. So the and so as far as the cable customers who are getting Peacock Premium looped in with their cable package, we're talking right. uh, Comcast, Xfinity, X1, and Flex customers. Okay. I think you pause for a moment. And all our customers. I know nothing about Cox Contour, but now that we're talking about Peacock, now this has surely got my Mike's wheels turning now. So oh, okay, can, oh. <laughs> can you say that again? You you, you faded out again. No, no, no. Oh, jeez, I'm no, sorry. Basically, if you have Cox, you get more cock. Oh, okay. So it's not just Comcast customers. No, apparently there are also Cox Contour customers. This must be some level of Cox Cable. They also are getting Peacock Premium included at no additional cost right now, yeah. just like this is happening right now. If, okay. These if, Comcast- they, if they work it like um, X1 like H- sorry, Matt, uh, like like when HBO Max came down, yeah. If they work it like that deal, because I have HBO Max included in um, my cable package because right. we. We paid for HBO. It, it, sure, and, and so like Verizon really does something similar with Disney Plus too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it, well, I and I have uh, I've always had HBO as part of my AT and T phone bill actually, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, it was just like a, a free for that since I pay so much for my phone bill. Um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, 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 yeah, and it was just like, hey, this is going to become here's you know just create a new login, connect it to your account. You have got HBO Max and all this stuff. And we watch all the DC things now. Um, so yeah, this is another version of that. So it, it just now you're interested in it. If you weren't interested in the Office and Saved by the Bell reboots, like I have been, now you're like, oh, my wrestling is over here. And also, I did watch Saved by the Bell tonight in honor of today's news. And I did notice because they've been advertising about like a lot of WWE content is already on Peacock, which sounds like it was kind of the test balloon for what we're seeing now, right? Um, if you go, uh, I'm on the Apple TV, and if you go a couple uh, rows down on the main browse channel, I, I don't. The interface is really confusing. Um, like there's that row, and it's like Monday Night Wars, and and like it, it is a lot of it's a lot of older stuff for the most part, older chronicles, things like that. Like it, it's the back catalog basically. So um, I, I think that's what it's just gonna look like. You're probably gonna have a WWE tab, just like you have a. You know, NBC Sports tab or Saturday Night Live tab or whatever it is in there. I don't. That's going to be irritating for pay per views. It might. Well, I think when pay per views, it's just going to pop up on the front page. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. So I'm not sure exactly how it's going to play out. I'm sorry. I'm feeling I'm breaking up again. I hope Peacock is able to handle the streaming load. Um, because their first test is going to be WrestleMania. It it, well, another well, the first their first test is going to be Fastlane. Oh, fascinating. Okay, so okay. they're not, so they're doing, they're being so they're doing it like the initial rollout. Of yeah. So and this is also this is a service that's also already providing live sports, already doing this, already has has literally twenty five times the subscriber base as the WWE network. Yeah, but I want to know how many people are actually using Peacock to stream live sports. I have, like I, I I watch live sports a lot. I have not heard also, anyone remember using Peacock to when WWE Network started. One, this was six or seven years ago. It was under um, uh, what became BAM, which I think it's a different company they're under now. 
It was a, a new provider, a newer provider that was supporting MLB um, TV. Uh, yeah. This Peacock is running under the full weight of NBC Universal and Comcast, right? I, I imagine, um, I imagine this is going to work uh, a lot better than those early days when they moved to this. Uh, so, and I and I, I'd be curious to see what other live events are there. Are boxing events in there? I don't know about with NBC Sports that a lot of people would be watching. Soccer. These guys have. No, there's there's Premier League like that. I know. Right. But... They, and it was like and 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 people watch Premier League. Not here, but people watch Premier League. Right. So yeah. like that has to be getting a load. And all it is 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 I mean they're already they're already providing multiple streams of content live streams of content whether it be live sports channels or um if you go into it the interface um on the app actually shows up kind of reminds me of pluto tv where there's these like hey here's a saturday night live channel hey here's a office clips channel hey here's a a unsolved mysteries channel right and now there's going to be a wwe network channel on that lineup as well so that's being provided plus you know they kind of plug into everything that's already there uh, the WWE broadcast too. They're just broadcasting to Peacock servers instead of whatever servers WWE Network runs on right now. So um, I, I, I'm I'm less concerned with that bit now. Mike, you're consider you're you're concerned about the and I think Dave Potter was also concerned about the account migration. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, I, you know, it's gonna be because like what if you don't really want Peacock? Well, you don't have a choice. If you want WWE Network, you yeah, have I know. to. That, that, you that's have, thing, listen, yeah. you're being force-fed the cock. <laughs> so okay, you're going to get the... Listen, gonna you're going to get the... <laughs> Thank you, everyone. It's been a good job. <laughs> you're going to get the peacock, whether you like it or not. So if you still want to get... If you want to watch WrestleMania, unless you want to go spend $70 or whatever it is for the WrestleMania, peacock is kind of your only choice right now. So that's, I mean, that's a fact right now. I, here's my question. Why do you care about your WWE network being migrated to, to Peacock? What comes with you? I, I don't know. I just, I just want to know, like, like, do you have to resubscribe for it? Like, yeah, I think it's, I think at a certain point, just your WWE network um, subscription ends. Because like all, also the WWE's like, the network, it just it comes from the site too. So does that link just go away, or is that uh, hyperlink to Peacock at that point? I think also, I'm more concerned what is going to happen to the WWE app rather than the website. While it looks like the w, it, it exists on WWE.com, I don't think that's a fact. Um, Back end stuff, I think you're actually going somewhere else where the network and that interface exists versus at WWE.com. It's just like the app is being fed from do- two different sources. Your information, CMS, I'm getting technical, I'm sorry, wrong show. Uh, your your back-end informational source, which would be the news on the WWE app and all the other information, ticketing, all that. I mean, ticketing is a different system probably. Uh, and then and then your, like, that. I, that's, that's a technical thing, and I don't think that's much of a concern. Yeah, it probably is going to just send you to Peacock, to be honest. Like, all links are going to, all roads, again, Mike, lead to the peacock. I uh, I don't know. It just bothers me. It bothers me. <laughs> it bothers me. Uh, uh, that you don't have no, your, like, your you WWE, know, soul, you know, your soul WWE world now? Yeah. Because now I'm going to see ads for tons of, like, Chicago PD. Like, I don't need to see that Well, that's that the point, shit. and that's what NBC bought. And also, uh, yeah, and also, uh, NBC is probably not as concerned about bringing WWE. Oh, they don't give a shit. No, no, they 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 have twenty four no, billion signups versus one for WWE. This is a content play. This is to give more value to. Yeah, it's because Peacock TV. doesn't have any original content. No, they have lots of original content. Do they? they, they Besides, have, Saved by the Bell. They don't. Yeah, they have they have a ton of stuff that I don't care about, but but they have a lot of. They have they have quite a few shows. I don't I don't know what their original content is. Um, like I'm on their site right now. Everything I see is old content. There is um I can't I can't answer, but I know I, I see Saved by the Bell. I, listen, I Psych have, Two. Psych, no, Psych Two was not a. I don't think that was an original for them. I think that was. I don't think USA. it was either. So it's saying a Peacock original. I'm pretty sure it was on USA beforehand. 
Right, right. So, but like, I, I see 10, 12 shows. They do. Have, I hear Peacock announcements all the time. So, yeah. if there's like, not a lot there, there's a what, lot. What I'm coming. saying is they have, they have new new content under TV. That, under that TV. Shakes or nerve, well, well, okay, well, that, that, this is how it brings you as an audience in versus what it has. Uh, Peacock Originals. I'm seeing Save Me, Code 404, Departure, uh, AP Bio, Saved by the Bell, of course. No, I know, but nothing is hit. Brave New World. Um, no, well, none no. of none of this is a hit show. I never see anything about any of these product mm. projects. Like legitimately, I have not. I've not seen anything about any of these on any social media at all. I except for Saved by the Bell, the week it came out. I can say I have, and uh, but you know nothing. Nothing as big as even Apple TV stuff. Like there's no there's yeah, no Apple morning TV, show. I've heard more there's about. no Ted Lasso. Um, but also, I don't think they've needed to yet. Um, and, and also, this uh, this only came out at the beginning of last summer. So they're know, still so did, so did HBO Max, so did Disney. Uh, H, uh yeah, but also our Dis- no, Disney's only a year old too. Uh, but yeah, in a year, a few months. Disney, no, Disney is the amazing example of how to launch a damn streaming service. That's what that Indeed is. It is. That Indeed is a. Is. What does NBC have as an as as a property versus versus what Disney has with Marvel and Star Wars and just. Disney versus what H- HBO ha- and Max has with HBO DC. Uh, I can't even remember what else was, was big on there. Movies. They got they got BBC America, Studio Ghibli stuff. Like. Yeah. So I mean that's 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 very niche stuff, right? So we're adding a niche to it, bringing in that audience, which again exposes more people to WWE. Uh, you know, is in an easy way. So um, Brand- Brandon in the chat room says cock and back end go together well. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you know what? If they're going to force feed us the cock, we're going to force feed you the cock jokes. Oh, Sorry. So, so, that's, just, that's just how it's going to work from now on. That's why we put the uh, explicit I, tag on. I'm, I'm going to wedge myself into this conversation. Oh, you're going to uh, slide in between the cock conversation? And I'm gonna say uh, I, I have uh, I've had a chance to chance to sample some of the peacock. Uh, over the past so just a months. tip, <laughs> and uh, I wasn't blown away. I think the only thing I found interesting on 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 the Peacock was uh, they had old Marx Brothers movies, and I watched a couple of those, <laughs> and that was about. After that, I was kind of like, "There's nothing really else here." Um, but I'm not big. I'm not a big streaming guy. Um, but just compared to you know what Disney Plus and and even Netflix is is rolling out, uh, yeah, they're a little bit lacking. But like seriously, like what what. What are they expecting? I, I don't like. I, I understand Sorg, your take, and I've definitely seen it in other places written by very smart people that this is a content play yeah. for NBC Universal. Yeah. But then there's a part of me that thinks that this is just a subscription play. Like they're they're just mm-hmm. buying yeah. these subscribers yeah. from WWE. No. But it's only like 1.1 million subscribers. So how much of a difference is that going to make for them? It's not uh, like they're going to. I like, wonder how many the whole balance of power. I wonder how many of the subscribers that Peacock has, though, are paid subscribers. Because this is essentially is forcing WWE fans to become paid subscribers to yep. Peacock. Yep. Um, unless... Yeah, but you're also looking at a situation where I mean, can WWE possibly know how many of their WWE network subscribers are also Comcast or Cox Cable subscribers who the minute you know march 18th comes they're just going to cut it off and you're going to be instead of you know for well, this group of subscribers instead of getting ten dollars a month you're going to be well, getting zero and then for well, I, I think, subscribers instead of getting 10 bucks a month you're only going to get five bucks a month from them like, i think it, i think at this point revenue i think at this point wwe doesn't matter what money they're getting from subscribers because no. They just got paid a billion dollars uh, for their content. Listen, well, I, no, I don't think WWE cares about this. I think this. I mean, the deal is good for WWE because now they are set for five five mm-hmm, years again. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, I don't like the play for NBC is is confusing to me. Like, what are they getting out of this deal? It's kind of what it, I want. It's them trying to be the next HBO Max, the next Netflix, the next uh, Disney. That's what everybody's trying to do right now because they know cable's dying. 
um, yeah. and half of their business is cable. So, hmm. uh, but, so they're all just so they're all just scrambling for yeah, whatever yeah. Oh, pool this, of this is subscribers part... or pool of content they can yeah. drag into the under their umbrella. This, yeah, without even really thinking about you know long term. The more reasons for you to tune into that streaming service, the more buy-in there is. So, and again, you know, WWE Network, let's talk about WWE Network old model versus now. WWE Network old model was, let's get as many subscribers paying us nine ninety nine a month. We could have had people coming at us for $65 a month, but, you know, not everybody buys, and you do house parties with 50, not 50 people, but like... Or you a, go to Justin's house. You go to Justin's house where, yeah, you, you know, you, you get that and you don't actually don't even get as much of that $65 as you would because it's going through all the providers in the middle. There's a ton of middlemen with that process, right? Versus we're getting a guaranteed $9.99 renewing on everybody's credit card uh, for 12 months a year. What if somebody said yeah, that they... I don't so think wait, wait, that wait, 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 wait. So wait, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me say, somebody said that uh, 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 they, they paid seven something like $750 or something like that since uh, the beginning of WWE Network, right? That is guaranteed money from a million people. That is good money. Plus, with a million or whatever, or fifth, a million and a half, whatever it was, um, because worldwide, uh, we're talking as well, you're talking about sponsorships. You were getting pre-roll ads uh, there, plus all the sponsorships that happen in the pay-per-views, right? That is viewer numbers that you're able to leverage against. Now, they're going to be doing that that actually, this actually even is even bigger for them because not only are they getting that billion dollars there, and there might be a rev share with NBC, but when you say uh, Royal Rumble sponsored by Snickers, like you can charge more because you have more potential audience than the than the million and a half that worldwide that were on there. You have the the million and a half plus you have the the um you know whatever is coming on on the cock. I I think you're gonna get a lot of people turned off by this. Oh, you're you're going to, but the guarantee. I, I, but, no, but, but the, I, I don't think you're gonna get everyone migrating over. I, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Mike, the bet is enough. Will the bet? I mean, the, we're the, down the, to a we're down to a situation where you know WWE is is essentially whittled their audience down to a point where we are down to the most hardcore, the hardcore, yeah. or most dedicated WWE followers. Yeah. So they will follow WWE wherever they go uh, and, and granted there, there is definitely going to be uh, some loss of subscribers on this deal yes um uh, but getting back to what sorg said about like you know this this hypothetical and uh i heard the they had a quote from one of these nbc heads uh talking about this halo effect where we're going to bring these 1.1 million subscribers in uh to the wwe network and they're going to check out everything that nbc peacock has to offer but i mean Maybe you guys don't completely agree with me, but I have a feeling you do. We all can can we all agree that like that is a that is a fallacy that WWE fans will check out what's what else is emanating or circulating around another WWE product. No one stays tuned after Raw. You know, no one oh. stays tuned after NXT. I, they watch their wrestling and they flip that son of a gun off. No is, one is that backed up no by one, the ratings? No one no one you consume these like these Halo programs is that, that they try to put around WWE or uh, any other wrestling. It, it, but, but hasn't that been the process for USA Network for the past like twenty five years? Is is yeah, but it's never worked. What do you mean it's yeah, never I, worked? I, I just that's why there's just so many it's programs. What it's what introduced me to La Femme Nikita, and I watched the shit out of that. You well, know, I mean, you know, every squirrel finds a nut sword. Burn notice. You know, stockings too. We <laughs> I do mean, remember. So um, stockings. Burn notice was on. Was never on after Raw. Uh, nope. Tr Sorg, trust me on this one. Burn Notice was never on after Raw. But it was advertised a lot. So what? Sniper? Is that, it's ever Sniper. Is that, is that the one with... Now, uh, you're, like, now you're just making up shows. No, no. There was, isn't there like <laughs> no, a Sniper shooter. one with... The, shooter. I'm shooter. sorry. <laughs> sniper is the wrestler, <laughs> the local wrestler, that that came out during Sorg. a high school show a few years ago. And Sorg, we're like, is it we doing this right now? The only thing that they really show after Raw now is like episodes of Ms. and Mrs. and straight up. Oh yeah, because because they yeah. they they and, have and, and repeats of Modern Family. Cause, cause, because cause, because after three hours, you fucking done, son. Yeah, because USA yeah. Network fucking done. If, if it was two hours, I might be with you on that. If if, if you're three hours, no one's sick. If you're not it. bought into the hard on that NBC has for WWE programming, how many shows starring WWE people are on USA and E Network right now? Holy hell. The Miz is hosting the game show or three at this point. I don't know. Miz has a show. Fellas have a show. Uh, Divas, I don't know, maybe have a show every once in a while. Stone Cold has a show. Is this like a second show on there maybe? Um, like they are bought the F 
in on the personalities of WWE, and that is valuable to them. I got another question for you on the on the on the Peacock. So, because okay. was, somebody was saying about how it's embarrassing that WWE Network has a million subscribers in the United States. Two points to this: one, WWE is a niche product, mm-hmm. right? Now you can say NFL is kind of a niche product, right? It's a giant niche. niche no, product. and NFL is a is it? Is it okay? All right, all right. I, I, I'm wrong on that. The w- Super Bowl is not a niche product. So. <laughs> WWE. It's not, it's not like oh, maybe I'll watch that thing. Well, I don't know. Well, to to Vince's dismay, the WrestleMania is not the Super Bowl, uh, yeah. in, in terms of numbers, right? As much as he tries to make it, it is not. Uh, so we we're talking about a million subscribers in the United States, hypothetically. For WB Network. What are the ratings? 1.1 1. 1. 1. Yeah. 1 million. What are the ratings in actual people tuned in on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? We know uh, about what? Se- let's say average 700,000 for Wednesdays. Right. Yeah, I mean, they're about, definitely about getting more viewers on Mondays and Fridays. All right. Be, be careful. Uh, Friday, Fridays, Fridays more than Mondays. You said 2 million on Mondays and Fridays? No, 2 million on Fridays. About. Maybe 1.3, 1. 1.4. 1. So you're talking about your installed base, let's say on average, is probably about 2 million people, right? Mm, depends. So hypothetically, half of them are subscribing to the WWE Network. Yeah, but I don't think yeah. people are going to want to migrate over to well, Peacock. No, 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 no. 50% of your audience is paying extra money for WWE <laughs> Network. That is fucking fantastic. And that's why we. That's why I say that they've whittled their, you know, that whittled their fan base down to just yes. like the most well, dedicated group. Let's say we're back to the days when it's four million are watching Monday Night Raw, and you're telling me a million of them are putting down money for WWE Network. That is a fantastic turnover. No, I no, I think if we if you have four million people watching Raw and only one million bought the network, that would be terrible. That's twenty five percent. That would be that terrible. turnover is twenty five percent. No, that's, but that's twenty five percent. Also, it hasn't. It, it, it also it hasn't been four million for years. So there's oh, that no, too. Oh no, of course not. So it hasn't been four million since like the mid two thousands. No, no. So I mean, I, it may have topped maybe two and a half since the WWE Network. But like, I, I don't. But like, that's apart the, from money. I don't see what this does for WWE. Because the people that are subscribing to Peacock are not the people that are going to be like, oh, let's watch some wrestling. Mike, Mike, the whole point is the money. Yeah, okay. That's the whole I point. I mean, it's, it's, it's financial stability. It's more financial stability for WWE going yeah. forward. Yeah, And honestly, you know, ever since they did, if you don't want to get too deep into the weeds with front office BS and whatnot, ever since they dispatched Wilson and Berrios about a year ago, the WWE Network thing is kind of was their their vision of the WWE network has been being phased out and we've been moving into this new vision where they are going to pawn this thing off onto somebody else. Because I think the reality of the WWE network after how long have we been here? 2014 at launch. Mm -hmm. I think the reality of the WWE network is that it never grew as big as they envisioned that it would grow. They capped it out at like what? 1.5. Maybe they started to creep on 2 million subscribers globally. Maybe not. But they needed more than that, and they are not getting it. So now it's time to pivot and find a new angle on this thing. And if that angle is these guys will give us a billion dollars to decrust it to our thing, that's probably a lot easier than trying to scratch together every single one of your yep. core audience and getting them to uh, pony up. Yep. So now, I mean, all the content deals across all the television content that they have going on, on top of everything else, um, this brings up to the fledgling, you know, li- you know, of course, live events is dead. Uh, but uh, it, 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 so the the two questions I have in less important, but what happens to your WWE app? I don't think it goes away. It just isn't. It, it, I think if you it just doesn't have the network. No, it just doesn't yeah. have the network. It's still gonna it's gonna go back to what it was before before they merged it. Right? It's gonna be the uh, it's gonna be the here's the news, here's the latest, here's some videos. You know, is of, the Peacock app as widely available as? I believe it is currently on everything. I think there was a couple of like not Roku, but like Fire Stick or something that maybe didn't have it. But I think that's all been ironed out by now. So okay, because I know like HBO Max still isn't on some stuff. Also, if you have an Xfinity box, because I've seen this on my mother's, 
Like it's right yeah, there. Yeah, but sorry, sorry. Not everyone has Xfinity. All right, all right, but but that's still a large number, a large number that it matters to these guys. Um, all right, I mean, we New York doesn't have Xfinity. You have Cox. Well, there you go then. <laughs> we have, we have Spectrum. <laughs> but you got only have Spectrum, to pay Beetle Vision, all that. Stuff. Either way. If you don't like that Saved by the Bell is intermixed in your feed with WrestleMania, uh, you're only paying five bucks. You're, if nothing else, we've effectively halved what you're paying WWE. Or, I don't even know. Like, or your WWE they still, haven't, they still haven't said if you can watch pay per views with the five dollars subscription. Yeah, they have. No, they very have they? they have very explicitly said that in some of the stuff I copy and pasted today. Okay. If you read the statement from WWE corporate, it does state that. 